Hello YouTube, Kyle again. Uh, today I wanted to share with you um, a product that will allow you to communicate within your projects, your Arduino projects, wirelessly without needing uh, XB or Zigbee as some people call them, wireless modules. Uh, the wireless modules themselves, you know, they work very well, don't get me wrong. They are just rather expensive and in order to interface with them properly you need either a shield or a, um, a, a USB Explorer board which again come with an additional cost. Now I've been sent a product from icstation.com um, which for less than one UK pound you can have wireless communication from your within your Arduino projects. And here they are. So it's a pound for both. These both come as a pair and this is 433 MHz uh, radio frequency communication. So it's not true Wi-Fi in the sense of uh, WEP, WPA, wireless. It's just it's radio frequency and it's, it's simplex communication. It is one direction from the transmitter to the receiver. But for most Arduino projects you will probably find this is more than sufficient. Um, the, for example, the range you can get on these, I've tested these as they are, plugged them into a circuit board and I've had 30 to 40 meters range on the communication and it's, you know, that's completely unobstructed and that was, that was quite good. Um, and then I did a bit of reading of the documentation on the website to find that you can, uh, I'll show you on this one, this one's probably a bit closer, you can solder an antenna into there on the transmitter and on the receiver there's the antenna hole there the documentation states that 17 centimeters of wire single core wire as an antenna which I've tested uh, and I got up to uh, I reckon I've measured it at 120 meters range indoors through walls communication which I thought was fantastic for less than a pound and I will be sharing in the description of this video the sample sketches I've used which I'll show later um, as to how to get started it is incredibly simple uh, there's a open source library that takes all of the difficulty out of the communication all of the pull ups, pull downs, interrupts it's, it's so much simpler now the documentation, just to point out, it does mention a coiled antenna for the transmitter. Um, I didn't coil mine. I don't know what additional performance benefit you'll get from coiling the antenna, but uh, 120 meters range for me is going to be perfect for what I'm going to be using it for. So I'm just going to put a straight piece of wire up. Um, when connecting these, I'll show you when connecting these to your circuit basically you have ground which is ground that's positive 5 volts and this is data data can go to any of the digital pins the which you can specify in the sh in the sketch uh, for the purpose of my demonstration sketch this will be pin D12 on the Arduinos and on the receiver we've got an extra leg but don't worry if I turn it around this way it comes with the descriptions as well so now we'll go from left to right we've got ground we've got data data and positive 5 volts both these two data pins give exactly the same data it doesn't matter which one you connect to they're both exactly the same but you will only need one you won't need two so as I mentioned earlier, this, these are available from icstation.com. It is product number 1402. I'll pop their website up in the description. And it's currently $1.53, which equates to uh, 91 pence in UK money. And of course it's free postage. So for the sake of, you know, an XB or a Zigbee uh, module costs about £40 second hand possibly 
and plus the £10 Explorer board that you'd need to interface with it against this, which is 91p. You know, I'm gonna, these are brilliant. I will, I will be buying more of these. Um, I've got a project coming up. I'm going to build myself a second quadcopter and I'm going to use these for my communication and I'll be reporting back. So bear with me a second and I'll demonstrate and talk you through the sketches for the communication with these boards. This is the transmitter sketch for the RF modules you've seen in this video. Now I did not write this sketch myself from scratch. As you can see this was written by Mike McCauley. Uh, I have just adapted this slightly um, because I noticed that some of the examples on the web don't have all of the features you want to see and uh, I'll just get talk through the code to give you an idea of what happens. You will require this virtual wire library. If you do not have this library your sketch will not work. You will find a link to this library in the description of the, this video. So the sketch starts off with the setup. Uh, serial communication is started at 9600 baud. Um, it's essentially, this is just diagnostics debugging mode. If you were to, to open up a serial monitor, you won't see anything else other than just the word setup. So you don't need these, not on the transmitter. It's unlikely you'll use this on the transmitter. So this line here, VW set TX pin 12, sets the transmitter pin that we're going to use to be D12. This could be any of the digital pins and you can set the bits per second. Uh, the sketches online have 2000 bits per second. Um, I thought I'd up it to 4000 bits per second and I've had quite good results from there. As mentioned earlier, this complete circuit, I had communication up to 120 meters with an antenna soldered to the transmitter and the receiver running these exact sketches. So within the loop, we're sending the message hello just a very simple message, but this could be anything you like. Could be a set of characters, could be a set of numbers. Just bear in mind that what you send, you have to be prepared to read it back and possibly convert it to a format you need when you receive it. Uh, to represent the fact that we're transmitting data, we are going to turn on the LED on pin 13 of the Arduino. This is the line that sends the message. It waits until the entire message has gone. So if the message hasn't gone, your code may stick here. Once the message has been sent, the light turns off and a short delay just to make sure. So this in itself is rather, yeah, it's, it's quite simple. I mean, all the complicated stuff is handled by this virtual wire.h. You, you may have already used this wire bef library before um, if you've worked with infrared devices. But if not, don't worry, like I said, the download to this library will be in the video description. And now I'll show you the receiver sketch. So this is the receiver sketch for these radio frequency devices. Again, written by Mike McCauley, and I've just added a couple of little extra things. So again, we're using the virtual wire library. Again, the download is in the video description. Um, I've just created a variable here called count because in the serial output that you will see later, I wanted to make sure that I am actually receiving data. So this increments later on each time the output is received. Um, on the receiver, you will use the serial communication, uh, especially for debugging. So again, we started this at 9600 baud, but you could put this at 115200, 38400, whichever you prefer. And it just pr uh, prints the word setup at the start so we know where we are in the code. Um, unlike the transmitter, the method here is changed to VW set RX pin, pin 12. So we're going to use the same pin on a separate Arduino. So pin 12 as our receiver. Um, once again, this value has to match what's being sent from the transmitter. So we were using 4000 bits per second in the transmitter, so it must match this on the receiver. And then you start the protocol to read. So a couple of buffers are 
defined here in the loop, so they're only ever used within this loop. So they're wiped at the end of the loop and then recreated again at the start. Right. So when we started receiving some data, we turn the light on so we know that we are in receipt of a signal and some data. Like I said here, a message with a good checksum is received. The library does a lot of of checking of the risk of received values. So if the value of the data received does not match up, you will unlikely to see this, the data, it will drop it. So it will start printing what it's got and it will start printing the buffer character by character. So if we were sending the word hello, so you'd get H-E-L-L-O. You won't get the word hello as one as one string, you will have to piece it together. As we're doing here, so each character C is the buffer, the position of the buffer that we are at. And then we print a space at the end after each one. So we're having H space E space, and you get the picture. Once that sleep's finished, we increase the count variable by one. And then we print the, ver the current state of count at the end of the line of the message we've just received. And then we turn the LED off. So what you would expect to see from this, if we had the circuit up and running, you would expect to see uh, got, hello, and then the number counting one after the other after the other each time. The transmitter and receiver sketches will be available to download from the link in the description of this video. Um, I think that these wireless devices make communication for your Arduino projects affordable and simple, um, which is exactly what you want for, a, for quick development projects. You don't want to spend ages sourcing wireless projects, configuring uh, XB devices so they're secure and they're communicating together. You just want to be able to plug some devices into a breadboard or into your PCB, and you just want to make sure that you can send data from one point to the other and these do it perfectly. So this is icstation.com's website displaying the information about the two products you've seen in my video today. So this is the receiver and this is the transmitter. They are currently for sale at $1.53 pence which with the current uh, transfer rate is works out at 91 Great British Pence. At the bottom of their page you'll see technical specifications and a, down, a link to some downloads where you'll find uh, some examples, some tutorials and all of the wiring diagrams you will need to wire up your circuit. Uh, in the description for my video you will also find a download to the Arduino sketches you saw in this video and um, the link to this product on the website.